Hey there, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to go to the hardware store. I gotta pick up some lime and fertilizer. And I'm not sure exactly if we're gonna lime and fertilize the lawn today. We might do it, we might get that far. Uh, but we're at least gonna pick it up, we're starting with that. After we get the lime and fertilizer, we have to go back to the house, we gotta clean up the lawn, I gotta pick up all the dog poop, I gotta blow all the leaves off the lawn. And then I'm gonna take the tractor around if I can get the tractor started because it hasn't been uh, hasn't been run all winter. Um, I gotta get the tractor started. I'm gonna go around the yard uh, and uh, it's not an aerator, uh, but it's just this little spiky wheel that pokes little holes in the ground. I'll go around the lawn with that, and then I got the uh, spreaders. We're gonna spread the lime and fertilizer. That's the plan. I don't know how much of that we're gonna accomplish today but we're at least going to pick everything up, so we're starting there. So let's get to the hardware store. I was gonna, I meant to get my camera out to show me loading this all up, but anyway, loaded up at the hardware store. Got all of our lime, got our fertilizer. And now we roll out of here. So we're gonna get back to the house, do a little bit of cleanup, start leaf blowing, and we'll get to spreading this, uh, the goods back here. As sunny as it is outside, it's still cold, and my bald little head was cold, so I had to go put a hat on. And I also gotta go get my camera charger, because the camera's already about to die. All right, so the first thing we gotta do, I gotta get a shovel and start cleaning up dog poop. Um, there's plenty of poop out here on the lawn, and you can see we got the trailer out that's got all of our, all of our lawn furniture in it, and we're gonna be getting that stuff out. But yeah, there's lots of poop which we gotta take care of first, so set you guys up over here so you can watch. And we're off to the races, picking up dog poop as fast as we can. I uh, had to get a five gallon bucket and carry it around the yard, and I, uh, I ended up filling the bucket actually. I debated about showing it on camera, but to be honest, I was gagging and trying not to puke just carrying it around, so... I, uh, I really didn't want to shove that in anybody's face because I knew I was having a tough time looking at it and I didn't want to I didn't want to force anyone else to look at it it uh, just just not pretty but uh, yeah you can see in the background my dad and my grandfather there they're my dad's unloading some stuff from my trailer uh, not my trailer my dad's trailer but sort of our storage unit getting some stuff out for summertime and you can see my grandfather's being really helpful. He's making sure to let me know uh, all the pieces of poop that I forgot. Very helpful. And now I start leaf blowing, and it was kind of a tough day to leaf blow. It was really kind of too windy to be doing it, but, you know, you just got to kind of play the wind. You can also see my grandfather got the tractor out, got the tractor running for me, put a new battery in it, and uh, had that thing running like a dream. But yeah, here I go, blowing more leaves, trying to get them off the lawn, and I'm fighting with the wind the entire time. There's uh, an opening in the gate, which I was trying to blow all the leaves to, but... They kept wanting to go to the corner of the field, and at a certain point, I just kind of let them. I uh, ended up getting them all taken care of, and most of them blown off the field. Uh, obviously, you can't get every single leaf, but we got the vast majority, and uh, that's really all that counts. But, of course, they all just want to keep blowing back onto the lawn, and there's 
probably just as many leaves out there today as there was when I started leaf blowing, but there we go, getting rid of them, blowing them away, trying to keep them away from the lawn as best we can, and uh, now we're going to hop on the tractor, and I got to go get the uh, hole poke thing, I, I still don't know what it's called, you know, I, I could probably look it up, but uh, I'm not gonna. poker here. See uh, all these uh, little spikes. We're gonna pull this like that. The wheel's up in the air. Now the spikes are on the ground. We're gonna put a little weight on it. I'm just gonna throw a couple of these bags of lime on top. down nicely um, poke a bunch of holes in the ground all around the lawn here that way when I spread the lime and fertilizer it'll really it'll really have a chance to sink into the ground really nice uh, if I poke some little holes in anyway I'll uh, set you guys up over here riding around on the tractor poking all these holes in the ground You'd, you'd think with the amount of time I spent working at a golf course, I might uh, have a better way of making some sort of pattern, you know, when I'm driving around on a mower. But uh, I don't know. I, I really just kind of wing it, and I was doing the same thing here, just trying to make sure I went over all the ground. But ulti ultimately, I was just, you know, sort of winging it, and it's not uh, it's not the end-all, be-all to me to have everything completely perfect and you know, perfectly striped lawn and whatever. That's that's not uh, the end-all be-all to me. And I guess that's why I never really, um, never really put in some serious effort to make a nice pattern. But I think it did pretty good here. Um, it's not not perfect by any means, but it's uh, it's better than nothing. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs>
once again, really no serious pattern here, but I am trying to make sure I evenly spread the lime across the entire lawn because if you if you mess up when you're spreading the lime, you will notice it later on in the year. You'll be able to see where all it went and uh, the areas that got more, the areas that got less, the areas that got none. You'll be able to tell for sure. And uh, I just, you know, did my best to make sure everything got some lime and I uh, went over it. Uh, back and forth and then side to side and it just uh, you know ho hopefully I got it a nice even spread and from the looks of the video here it looks like I did pretty good um, but like I said time will tell and we'll be able to go out there and see exactly what happened and you know just riding around and back and forth back and forth and uh, if you want to know what's going on in my headphones I'm playing WBLM 102.9 WBLM Maine's Classic Rock Station. I switched over to the hand spreader as opposed to pulling it behind the tractor when I started using the fertilizer. I used a lot less fertilizer than I did lime, and I think that's pretty standard. And I just wanted to get a nice uh, even spread, so we did it by hand, and uh, it was a little more precise that way. I just finished lime and fertilizing the yard. It makes me feel like I'm working at the golf course again. And uh, hopefully I didn't stripe it too bad, but give it a couple of weeks and you'll be able to tell exactly where all the lime went. Um, hopefully it comes out okay. But anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching some lawn maintenance today, and we'll see you in the next video.